I think more and more people are, uh, are tired of uh, shouting peace, peace for uh, almost a hundred years. Um, uh, I think there's a, a movement to the right. That's, that's what I see. Uh, I think we have a problem with our judicial system, where the, the judiciary, which uh, represents a minority of the electorate, uh, um, is really running the country. But I think we'll overcome that also. There's a move to the right, and eventually uh, the judiciary will be put in its proper place. And the right is the people who believe that uh, Jews do have a right to live here, uh, that and they have a, a right to live here and a right to to um, uh, live not only in um, Tel Aviv and in Haifa, but also in Jerusalem and also in East Jerusalem and also in uh, Efrat and also in... Uh, uh, Ariel and uh, in Judea and Samaria in general, and and in fact, uh, more than that, um, that the right of Jews to live in Tel Aviv is contingent on the right of people of Jews to live in Ariel and in Ephrat and in Gush Etzion and in in all over Judea and Samaria, because our our right. Is is we are not colonialists. If you say we have a right to Tel Aviv only, yes, then you're saying we're colonialists, and we're not colonialists. We this is our home. So people who basically adopt the Zionist uh, ideology that. Uh, that Israel is our home, I, I think you have to say that um, you have to say that the living in Judea and Samaria and living in East Jerusalem uh, and uh, is, is, is something legitimate and, and I think that is the uh, and not only is that something legitimate, but it's the it lends legitimacy to our whole presence in uh, in this part of the world, in the land of Israel. If it's not legitimate to live in Ariel, or in Gush Etzion, or in Hebron, then it's not legitimate to live in in Tel Aviv either, because then we're colonialists. And colonialism is passé. It's finished. Okay. I just wanna... So that's that's the that's the position of the right, and I think it's it's uh, it's gaining more and more traction.